Hello, dear friends. My name is Dr. Igor Atabekov. I'm clinical oncologist practicing since 2010. Today we are talking about the uh, Indian, or not only Indian, but uh, natural remedy called, called uh, Kist Al Hindi or Costus. We'll talk about the scientific data that is available, about the uses in traditional medicine, about contraindications, side effects, uh, toxicities, uh, and uh, I'll try to get you the most relevant information based on scientific data. Let's get started. Kistal Hindi is the herb, herb that grows in a, a mountain area. It's like 3000 meters over the uh, level of the sea. It's um, endemic area is Himalayan mountains and it's used in Indian uh, folk medicine, in Tibetan and uh, in Chinese uh, folk medicine. This is the small screenshot of the article where you can see the uh, contents uh, of this uh, herbal uh, of this herb and you can see that most of the contents are sesquiterpen uh, terp terpens like uh, uh, sesquiterpen lactone and uh, uh, costunolide and different alkaloids, flavonoids that can possess a number of health benefits. And one of the most important actions of uh, Kistal Hindi is its antispasmodic action. Um, Probably it blocks the calcium channels, uh, meaning it will relax the muscles because we need calcium to tense, to flex our muscles. And the muscles around there, for example, the blood vessels, will lead to decrease of the spasm and will lead to decreased blood pressure and peripheral resistance. Also, it will decrease the heart work, heart rate, the strength of pumping, it will decrease the uh, size of bronchi, uh, I mean it will enlarge bronchi, uh, improving the breathing. It is very important for pa patients with asthma or chronic bronchitis. That's why this is very popular for these conditions. Also, uh, it can decrease the spasms. For example, if you have a painful uh, belly or painful menstruations, it can also help. And it can help in prostatic hyperplasia when you have a difficulty urinating because it will also remove spasms. By the way, uh, we are not sure about the action of hypertension. Why? Because I didn't find any articles where they say, okay, this is Kistal Hindi, it will decrease the pressure, blood pressure in humans because all of these studies are on animals. But in humans, we don't really know because in some articles, not articles, I would say in some websites, they say, oh, it's contraindicated in patients with hypertension because it will drop, uh, it will um, increase blood pressure. In the other side, they say, oh, it's contraindicated in hypotension when you have a low bl blood pressure because it will uh, decrease your blood pressure. So uh, if you have any experience taking Kistal Hindi, if you know that it affects your blood pressure in some way, please write in comments below. Because um, even me, I am already confused. Now about prostatic hyperplasia, there is a quite a new article. They uh, studied rats and the uh, rats were getting their um, Kistal Hindi extract and they saw their good uh, changes in the prostatic tissue, not only removing spasm, but also decreasing the size of prostate. But again, it's on animals. In the folk medicines, they usually, they can take the powder of the root and uh, just put it into water and drink. Or they can fry it in oil a little bit, or better, you mm, heat up some oil or butter, vegetable oil or butter, and put the root powder there and mix it and then you can take it. Or if you have, for example, headache here, if you have headache, you can apply on your uh, head, on your forehead, for example, on your sides. If you have back pain, you can apply it uh, on the painful region. If you have an insect bite or if you have some purulent uh, skin infection, some pustules, foreign calls you can put there. Some people even put on the wound and some people use it to um, to increase the hair growth, but this all is folk medicine again. There are no cl clinical trials that prove their efficacy and safety. Second important um, 
a property of uh, Kistal Hindi is anti-inflammatory. Now, as we already understand, uh, you can treat inflammation with that condition. Not you can, I mean in folk medicines they do that. Because it will, for example, decrease the production of tumor necrosis factor alpha. Next, anti-tumor action. Um, Kistal Hindi has several substances like Cineropicrine or Costunolite that have a direct anti-tumor action against uh, leukemia, against lymphoma, about, against uh, the um, stomach cancer, liver cancer, ovarian cancer, cells, not in humans, in cells only. We don't know what it will do in humans. Also, they will um, stimulate the genes that are responsible for apoptosis, meaning self-destruction of the tumor, and stop the genes for growth of these tumors. Also, they will act on the blood vessels because we need to decrease the growth of blood vessels to treat the tumor. That's why all these actions are good, but we don't really know what will happen in humans. We need clinical trials. Next, liver diseases. Uh, it was investigated actually in preclinical models in hepatitis B virus. And uh, we know that uh, Kistal Hindi will decrease the multiplication of this virus. That's why it can be a nice adjunctive treatment for viral hepatitis. And also in folk medicine, it's always used for um, inflammation of stomach of uh, gastritis and of stomach ulcers. Because we have several investigations, even one small investigation on patient with uh, uh, superficial gastritis, and we know that it can increase the protective abilities of gastric mucosa, of stomach mucosa, and protect from, for example, stress ulcers, or from helicobacter, and from ethanol-induced ulcers, damage to stomach. Also, we know that it can directly kill Helicobacter pylori. We have an investigation where it showed that the extract of Kistal Hindi could kill all the strains that were tested. And in humans, it increased the motility of gastrointestinal tract, meaning if you have a food stuck in your stomach for a long time, if you have a constipation, if you had jord all the time, it's good to stimulate a little bit your motility so it goes faster. One more very old study, antiparasitic effects of Kistal Hindi. It can actually kill Trypanosoma cruzi. It can actually kill nematodes. All study in children who were infected with nematodes. It showed a similar effect in decreasing the uh, levels of uh, egg production of uh, these worms. Similar to the standard uh, antiparasitic treatment. And this is the single dose. But don't ask me how to take it, because this is not a uh, uh, remedy, not a drug that uh, must un undergo all the phases of trials. So we know the doses, we know how to take it correctly, we know how it will be absorbed, how it will be distributed in our body, how it will be removed from our body, what can be side effects and toxicities. That's why I cannot take you, tell you what is the correct dosages and how long you should take. It's not a drug. That's the problem. Next, recently it was investigated against different thyroid problems. Before I made several videos about low thyroid uh, function like autoimmune thyroiditis or Hashimoto thyroiditis and I was talking about the natural remedies like a black cumin or nigella sativa, uh, how it can help with uh, this condition. Also, I was talking about high thyroid function or hyperthyroidism, uh, what natural remedies can help you. I would add that chamomile and sage tea can help uh, to reduce the risk of autoimmune thyroiditis, but you need to take it from two to six cups per week, so quite regularly. Also, ashwagandha can help uh, those who have low thyroid hormones because it will increase their production of thyroid hormones. What about Kistal Hindi? Um, all the studies are not on humans, but on the laboratory animals. But in both high thyroid gl gland function or low thyroid gland function, it will help uh, liver, it will help uh, proteins, uh, different uh, blood characteristics of biochemical analysis. It may help with the um, thyroid hormones and it may decrease the destruction of thyroid gland. But this is all preclinical. 
If you are interested to know more about the uh, use of uh, Kistal Hindi in thyroid uh, gland diseases, you can see this article. There is a name and there is the author. You can easily find it. Also, I forgot to tell you that there is a small old uh, investigation on patients with uh, heart problems who have low blood flow in the heart. So Kistal Hindi could increase their blood flow and improve the function of their heart. And by the way, I forgot to tell you that if you, I also find in, on one, one website that if you have the uh, stomach ulcer, uh, then you need to be very careful with taking this drug. You need to be under the mo monitoring of the medical professional. It looks like you need to move to his apartment, sit with him and taking, uh, when holding his hand and he say, okay, I'm controlling you, you can take it. But uh, of course, they mean that you mean must be very careful. The doctor must um, weigh uh, the potential benefits and potential risks. Uh, but we don't know about real risks because there are no real clinical investigations. So it's very like very general phrases, you know. But in any way, you must start from very low doses and see how you tolerate it and increase it very slowly. About dosages, um, I watched the video of the um, Indian doctor. We know this is a very popular Indian remedy and she said that you need to take it uh, not more than three times a day, but better not more than two. But she <laughs> recommends one time a day in the morning, just a few minutes before the breakfast. So don't take very high doses because you will increase the risk of toxicity. Also, let's see. Potential risks, contraindications, toxicities. Pregnancy and lactation are automatically here, I mean, not lactation, breastfeeding, uh, automatically here. Why? Because um, it's not investigating in these groups. I mean, we don't know if, will it affect the pregnancy of baby or not. That's why it's automatically here, but maybe it's totally safe in these groups. I don't know. Next, allergy and intolerance can be to anything, but here, um, there are sex with pants, lactones that um, may cause allergy in some people, allergic contact dermatitis. For example, you bought cosmetics, there is Kistal Hindi there, you apply it and you have a redness of the skin. It's, it can be contact dermatitis to these uh, lactones. And uh, if you have al allergies to artichokes, asters, common bulldog, cosmos, etc., etc., then uh, dandelions, then you may highly likely have the allergy to Kistal Hindi, Sausurea costus. Then, we don't, I'm not sure about high and low blood pressure. On animals it shows that it decreases blood pressure, uh, but uh, in some websites it says, oh, it can increase blood pressure, but uh, we cannot always project their animal studies to humans, that's why I cannot tell you 100%. Then, if you're taking any medications, especially if they're very important for your life, if they're life-saving medications, better not to take it because we don't know whether it will interact or not. Because potentially it can increase the concentration and cause toxicity of these medicines, or it can decrease and cause loss of effectiveness. So it can be very dangerous sometimes. Before I was telling you about St. John's Ward and uh, the woman who, was, who got the liver transplant and she lost her liver, uh, because of this St. John's word. Next, thrombosis. I'm not sure if it causes thrombosis. It will, if it stops the bleeding, it will increase the coagulation or if it, it is decreasing coagulation. I'm not sure, no information about it. Then, sometimes it can be contamina contaminated with aristocolic acid and this is toxic to kidneys and uh, even it can cause kidney cancer. That's why don't take in high doses. Dear friends, that's all for today. I hope it was interesting for you. If you have any experience, please share it below in the comments, because as you understand, there are not many clinical trials on humans. I wish you good luck, God bless you. Bye-bye. See you in the next videos.